Again, we're in the southern Gulf of Mexico, and the showers and thunderstorms currently located over the Yucatan Peninsula, but slowly migrating toward the Bay of Campeche. And you can see there, over the next couple of days and over the next five days, the National Hurricane Center now giving this a 90% chance of developing. So development is likely here, but like JB said, where is it going to go? Well, right now it's just meandering. It's really not doing a whole lot. It's actually part of a larger circulation here. A larger, very broad area of low pressure called the Central American Gyre. And you may have seen that in social media over the past couple of days. That term has been kind of circulating here. But this is the area of moisture that has a chance of developing. The rest of this is just going to continue to produce showers and thunderstorms over Central America. But these are the spaghetti models for the tropical wave Invest 93L that has a good chance of developing. Over the next few days, it's really not going to move a whole lot. Most of the models keep it centered right here in the southern Bay of Campeche, the very southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico here. After that, notice the timing here. This is Thursday, still pretty much located in the same area. After that, most of our larger, longer range models take it into the portions of the Gulf of Mexico take it north into Gulf of Mexico and maybe have it making landfall uh, somewhere in the northwestern portions of the Gulf of Mexico as a very weak area of low pressure, whether it's named or not. A lot of that moisture is still going to be heading north regardless. This is what radar could look like here over the coming days. But again, we're talking a week out for any maybe potential impacts to the United States. So a lot of moisture falling and producing landslides, mudslides in Central America with all of this moisture hanging out. But after that, we're going to move into next weekend and into early next week. There is a good chunk of moisture that kind of breaks off and heads towards the Gulf of Mexico states here. And that includes portions of Florida getting rain. That includes includes portions of the southern Gulf Coast and Texas getting rain from uh, an area of low pressure making its way north. Whether it develops or not, uh, we will be tracking it, of course. Now,